Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Uwem Akban. In today's video, I want to speak about why the heavy attack on your life. Most times, when we go through difficulties, we tend to think it's like I'm not doing something right. We go through difficulties, hatred, rejection, suffering. Does it mean that God no longer loves us? The scripture settles this by saying, What shall separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus shall tribulation shall hunger shall persecution he said no nothing nothing can separate us why the heavy attack on your life number one you are important to God the devil will not waste his weapons on you if you are not important if you are standing by his side he cannot fight you because if he does that it's counterproductive but the fact that you've accepted to choose God the devil is always looking out for people who are important to God to cut them off to make them feel dejected to make them discouraged to make them pull back from God and the truth is if you're suffering and going through difficulties in your life you're trying to do things right and nothing seems to go right it means one thing you are important to God the devil is mad at you because you are so important to God scripture says how precious are your thoughts for me, O oh God? What are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them? You have to let this settle in your heart. It's because you're important to God that the devil is trying to fight you with everything that he can. He's trying to bring friends around you who will deceive you and want to use you. He's trying to bring you into relationships that are going to crush you and break you. He's trying to make people that you work with become toxic to you such that you'll be discouraged such that you think God no longer loves you. But that's a lie. Job was so important to God that God could brag about Job. But don't take this wrong because what happened to Job will not come to you. You have a mediator between you and God, the man Christ Jesus, who is speaking on your behalf, who through his finished work, you are favored. So just know that you are important to God. It's the kind of thing that will make you feel like I've been doing things right all the while. So and nothing is working. So why do I keep on doing things right? He said, give up now. That was the same argument the devil took to God about Job. He said, just remove your hand from his life and he will deny you. He will cause you. It's because you are intimidating to the kingdom of darkness. It's because you are a trait to the cultural paradigms that have been in place. It's because you are a trait to the paradigms in your family that were wrong because you are trying to make things right, because you are trying to pull things to put things in place because in your own life you are not trying to follow the same pattern number two you feel a pull of god on your life by the time you live life as a believer and feel a pull of god on your life that calls you to live a consecrated life a separate life there will always be attack there will always be things said against you or about you that are wrong and most times you see that there are a lot of christians in the world today and some of them are not trying to do things right some of them are just professing christianity but they are doing whatsoever thing they wish to do but for you there's this pool of god on your life that you can't bear it to do something wrong and your conscience will beat on you and the holy spirit will convict you that's a sure sign that you feel a pool of god on your life that god has something for you that you are important to god and that is why you feel this heaviness and that is why you feel the attack and sometimes you could be confused because every other person is living the way they want and you are like are they not bothered because you can't do that you detest just the sense of the double life because you want to have one life before god and before men you just want to be honest that's because there's a pool of god in your life and i want to encourage you in this video if you are facing attack or heaviness or depression or anxiety and because of this you are like should i give up should i pull back from god this video is god reminding you my pool on your life is my mark on you because i have marked you that's why you're feeling that pool and you can talk about david here david was sent to go take food for his brothers who were in the army and he went there heard Goliath defying the army of Israel and David was disgusted at the sight of Goliath even defying the army of Israel that the king and the soldiers were cowering in fear and because of the pull of God on David's life the spirit of God in David David felt something a holy anger he said for who is this pagan Philistine anyway that is allowed to defy the armies of the living God and David went ahead because of that pool of God and he fought Goliath and win there's a pool of God on your life that is calling you to live great there's a pool of God on your life that is calling you to a separate life a unique life because the Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made it means you are unique it means you're not meant to just live on the level like everybody else the Bible says and Daniel purpose in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's meal other people that were taken with him captives 
from Jerusalem, they ate the meal. But Daniel alone purpose in his heart because there's something different. Because God has marked him for something great, Daniel couldn't bear it just joining the crowd. You don't have to fit into the crowd. You don't have to join everybody else and do what they are doing. That separate life that God is calling you, that's why you're feeling the heaviness. That is why you're feeling the loneliness. Because it's kind of like a lonely road. You're feeling like, am I the only one taking this Christian thing serious? Am I the only one trying to serve God this way? Am I the only one trying to do something right? But let me shock you because there are brothers and sisters somewhere who are also trying to do the same thing like you. Just that you guys have not met yourselves. That is why you're feeling like, I'm lonely. And you can also see in Joseph's life, when Potiphar's wife tempted Joseph, Joseph said something that marked his heart. How could I do such a wicked thing? It would be a great sin against God. Note that this is between Joseph, Potiphar, and the wife. What someone would naturally say would be, my master has been so good to me. How would I do such a thing and sin against my master? But that was not Joseph's priority. Joseph's priority was, God, how do I do such wickedness and sin against God? How do I disobey God? How do I miss my purpose? I know I can feel the hand of God on my life. So if you have chosen a life of following God, no matter how heavy and lonely it feels, don't give up. It's because God has marked you. Number three, you have a great purpose and the devil knows your potential. You know, sometimes we live life as believers and we don't really know our potential. But one thing is that the devil actually sees your potential and the only thing he tries to do is to distract you and drag you back. While God is trying to pull you forward, the devil wants to drag you back. How does he want to drag you back? By deceiving you, by trying to make you not know your identity. In the garden, when the devil went to tempt Eve, Eve was already in the image of God. But what did the devil tell her? He said, if you eat this tree, you'll become like God. But already that was the image that she was. And he made her doubt who she was. She did not know her potential. Why do you feel how you feel? It's because you have a great potential. It's because there's a purpose of God in your life. Maybe that's the reason for the heaviness. You're trying to do everything right. You're trying to walk in the right path and you're feeling the heaviness. You're feeling depressed at times. Maybe it's because God's hand is on your life. You're trying to go into business and it feels like people are discouraging you by deceiving you, by lying to you. Maybe it's because the devil wants to drag you back. Maybe he wants you to change forms and start doing things wrong. Maybe he wants you to start treating people wrong because you've been treating them right and then they are still hurting you. So now you want to treat them wrong. No, that's the devil. So maybe you're closing in on your breakthrough and the devil is trying to bring all these counterfeits to you and say, try this, try that give up so that you would miss God and miss the purpose of God in your life. And God is calling on you today. The heavy attack on your life is not a sign of something bad. It's because there's something great that is ahead of you. And the devil is trying all he can to hinder you, to stop you from reaching that. Jesus was tempted after fasting for 40 days by the devil and his identity was attacked. If you were to just live a normal life and just do all you wish, the way you want, you don't want to be known, you don't want to do this God thing too much, the devil might not even bother you. Jesus himself was accused of using the power of Satan to cast out devils. And he said a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. The devil can't fight himself because if he does, his kingdom will not survive. So he can only fight you when you are on the other side trying to serve God. In conclusion, what did you suppose of this godly life? Would have been easy, convenient, you know, comfortable. You will not have issues or troubles. But that's not what Jesus said. In the Bible, it said that this godly life, you will have persecution. The godly life that you want to live to serve Christ and live for him is going to come with some things that may not be pleasurable. But the end of it, Paul said, we have been crushed but not abandoned. So whatever is happening to you, it doesn't mean that God has left you. It's because he is with you. That's why you, are, you have not had a breakdown now. Jesus said, and everything I have taught you so that the peace which is in me will be in you and will give you great confidence as you rest in me. For in this unbelieving world, you will experience trouble and sorrows, but you must be courageous for I have conquered the world. This is the Lord's word to you. He is calling you to be courageous and courage is defined as a quality of spirit that enables you to face danger or pain without showing fear. When you know that God is with you and you have him as your standby, the Holy Spirit is your counselor. You can call on him, Holy Spirit, my counselor, counsel me. I don't know what to do. Holy Spirit, my comforter, comfort me. I need you now. And he will. I hope this video has been of help to you and you have learned something from the video and are encouraged by it. Do well to subscribe to this channel to help 
this channel grow and help me keep on doing this and push the like button it will help youtube algorithm recommend the video to other people who may need to see this what are those heavy load you seem to carry let me know in the comment section and let us discuss there thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye